welcome students today we are going to discuss a very important question and interesting as well from the topic permutations okay so this question is find the number of four digit numbers that can be formed using the digits 1 2 3 4 and 5 we are having these five digits and we have to form a four digit number so how many such numbers can be formed if no digit is repeated another part of the question is how many of these will be even okay so let us see the solution here here four digit numbers we have to form out of these five digits so for this case we have to use the formula npr is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial okay so here n is equal to how much total number of objects 1 2 3 4 5 and r is equal to how much the number of objects we have to select and arrange at a time so we'll have four digit numbers so r is equal to 4 we have to select any four digits and arrange them in different way uh, possible maximum possible way okay so now we can use this formula you will get the result putting n is equal to 5 and r is equal to 4 so therefore 5 p4 is equal to 5 factorial by 5 minus 4 whole factorial this is equal to 5 factorial by 1 factorial you know 1 factorial is 1 so this is equal to 5 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 so multiplying all these numbers together this will be equal to 120 so this is the answer here so total number of numbers which can be formed four digit numbers which can be formed with the help of this five digits will be how many 120 so this is the answer now second part of the question is how many of these will be even so what is the condition for a number to become an even number the digit at unit place should be even number okay so we have to form four digit numbers next you see we have to form four digit numbers one two three and four and numbers will be even if this digit at unit place should be an even number then only this number will be an even number when digit at units place should be even correct so first of all let us fill up this place with the help of two digits we are having two and four two even digits and this place has to be filled up with the help of any one out of these two so here n is equal to two and r is equal to one okay so digit at units place should be an even number then the number is even so units place can be filled in how many ways therefore digit at unit place can be selected in how many ways there are two even numbers and we have to select one out of two so in two p one ways okay ways now we are having again rest of these three places which will be filled by any four because we have already used one letter here and no digit has to be repeated we have already selected one digit out of this five so remaining will be four and we have to select out of these four digits three isn't it so now this is tens place hundredth place and thousand place okay so we can write now tens hundreds and 
thousands places can be arranged in how many ways? Four, P, three ways. Clear? Total number of remaining digits is four, and we have to select three for these three places. So finally, answer will be how much? Answer will be therefore. Answer. Answer is equal to how much? Multiplication of these two. Multiplication of two P one into four P three. Correct. So two P one is equal to how much? Two P one is two factorial by one factorial into four P three is four factorial by four minus three. That is one factorial. So finally, therefore, answer will be this is two one into two that is two, and this is four factorial means one into two into three into four, and this is equal to forty eight will be answer. It means there are forty eight numbers which are even numbers formed by these five digits when. no digit will be repeated this is the answer okay so very interesting question very easy question we can understand it very easily so in the next video we will see some more problems